guys welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another video so today i'm going to be sharing with you how to make a little bowl out of candles and crystals for the specific intention of protection and sending negative energy away from you your house your dwelling your finances your relationship this is basically something you could do just with a candle a fire safe dish and some crystals so with that being said i'm gonna get into it i know i have a lot of things laid out over here but these are optional now i always like to look at spell work like cooking like if you're cooking and the more spices and the more flavor that you add the better your dish is going to be the better people are going to like it the more you're gonna like it it's just gonna be a very favorable experience right so that's kind of how i see spell work is the more that you add <laughs> You're just flavoring it up a little bit more. But in this case, all you need is a black candle fire safe dish and a protection crystal of your choice. So I have here tiger's eye and I also have a red tiger's eye right here. Tiger's eye is very, very good for protection, for bringing out courage in any situation that you face, for pushing energy through and um, to protect you from negative energy. And then we have black obsidian right here. That is my favorite crystal for protection because it transmutes negative energy. It's so good for protection. It's black, so kind of absorbs the negative energy and all of those things. And it's just, it's such a good crystal for protection. I would say that the best one to use would be obsidian, black obsidian, if you have it. But if you don't, oh, also I do sell black obsidian chips in my shop. If you're interested, head over. Um, but if you don't have that, that's fine. Uh, another crystal that you could use is selenite. So I have three selenite wands of mine right here. I'm going to be keeping these probably right in front of the tray. Now, selenite is something that does not need to be cleansed. It's something that cleanses whatever you put it near. So a lot of the time I like to rub this all over my body to kind of just cleanse my aura and my energy. Um, so those are the three crystals that are really, really good. It's tiger's eye, black obsidian, or selenite. So what you're going to do is arrange these crystals in your bowl. I have a little saucer right here and I like that it has silver edges because it kind of reminds me of armor. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to be sharing with you a few like extra tips and tidbits of things you could put in there for extra protection, a little bit of an extra boost in your work. Now the first thing I'm going to to say is this is totally optional okay so i have some sea salt right here and i'm just going to be putting that on the bottom of my bowl salt is very protective salt is something that helps to like negate negative energy and keep it away and um cleanse and purify and all of those things so i'm going to put a little bed of salt before i add my candle and you can use a black tea light candle a black jar candle whatever you have a taper candle whatever you have. The next thing is you're going to take your crystals, however many that you have and whatever ones you choose to work with, and you're just going to kind of arrange it in your bowl. So I'm going to put this pyramid right on the top and I'm going to put the heart right below it. I'm going to put maybe this one right there and follow your spirit. Your spirit will lead your hands. Your spirit guides kind of lead your hands. So just flow with it however you want to arrange these. Go ahead and arrange them. Follow your spirit and that's it. So that's kind of what my bowl is going to be looking like. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is you can actually add herbs in here to uh, amplify this. So the herbs that I would recommend, I have dried sage leaves right here that are from my garden. And what I'm going to do is probably just put one sage leaf on every corner. So I probably use four because we want to conjure from all four directions, north, east, west, south, and also all the four elements, right? Water, air, earth, and fire. So I'm going to be using four sage leaves and I have my bowl all ready. Um, I'm also going to be using a selenite wand right in the front of my bowl right there. You can get these wands on my shop. Um, if you guys are interested, I think I still have some in um, stock. You can get these in my shop. Another thing I want to recommend is an evil eye or a protection or a cleansing type of an oil. So this is mine. This is uh, something that I hand painted and this painting sits on my altar. 
So as, as my painting charges, so does your oil constantly. If you have this, it's available in my shop. But what you're going to do, and this is completely optional, you don't have to do this, but again, like I said, the more you can add, the more, you know, energy that you're putting, the more of your essence, the more of yourself and your intention that you're putting in there. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so that is basically it, but I do want to tell you guys one last extra little thing so if you really truly want to send negative energy back <laughs> then you're going to be using some cloves i have some cloves right here use the cloves with the head on still and you can just drop those in your bowl and that's it the next thing that you're going to do is light this and you're going to keep this on your altar in your living room in your bedroom don't leave it unattended because you don't want to leave candles unattended um, and you can keep this anywhere that you need to bring in more protection, to bring in more um, just sending negative energy back and getting rid of negative energy, getting rid of low vibrations, maybe too much fighting or tension in the house, um, maybe like a string of bad luck, maybe just whatever the case may be. Get your protection crystals out, get yourself a black candle. If you want, you can add salt, cloves, and sage. Get yourself a little bowl and that's it. You could put this anywhere. It's really, really pretty aesthetically too. Isn't it just so calming? And yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon.